If you're trying to figure out which Navy Federal credit card to get next, make sure you watch this video to the very end. So with all of these cards that I'm about to go over, you can pre-qualify for without hurting your credit score. But just keep in mind that pre-qual does not mean that it is guaranteed. Another thing to note about Navy Federal credit cards is that they will only pull from your TransUnion credit report. So if you have a lot of inquiries or high utilization, then try to take care of those on that credit bureau first before applying. So let's break down the tiers before I start listing them off. S tier means superb which means that this is a top of the line credit card. A is an excellent credit card, but didn't quite make the cut of being superb. B is average, C is below average, and F is straight up garbage and you shouldn't even apply for it. So with that out of the way, let's get into the list. The first credit card that we will be going over will be the Cash Rewards credit card. At the making of this video, you can get an intro APR of 1.99% for 12 months on balance transfers made within the first 60 days of the account opening. Plus, you can earn $200 cash back when you spend $1,500 within the first 90 days of the account opening. So from an ROI standpoint, this gives you around a 13% return, which is pretty decent. And currently for a limited time, you can get a $98 statement credit for an annual Walmart Plus membership. This is a pretty solid offer if you don't already have Amazon Prime. I actually already have Walmart Plus because my MX Platinum offers this. I think this is a pretty good deal because you can find some pretty good deals at Walmart. Plus you can get some additional benefits like free delivery from the store, Paramount Plus subscription, and you also get discounts on gas. So now let's talk about the rewards. With this credit card, it will give you 1.75% cash back on net purchases when you have a direct deposit. If not, then it's just 1.5%. So it's pretty straightforward. There's really no points you have to worry about. So whatever money that you spend, you just get a certain percentage back. So some of the other features and benefits is that there are no limits to the rewards that you can earn. Your rewards do not expire as long as the account remains open and you also get collision damage waiver. I would say this is a pretty good forever card since there's no annual fee. So I would place this credit card in the A tier. So the biggest reason for this is due to the bonuses and the no annual fee. So for me, I tend to focus on rewards and bonuses, but to get 1.75% cash back with direct deposit, a $200 bonus, an intro low APR, on balance transfers and a Walmart Plus subscription is a pretty good deal. So up next, we have the More Rewards American Express card. So currently with the More Rewards, you can also get an intro offer of 1.99% for 12 months on balance transfers. Then after that, it would just be variable. This was very similar to the Cash Rewards card. Plus you can earn 20,000 bonus points, which is equal to $200 value. We spent $1,500 within 90 days of the account opening. Again, this is very similar to the Cash Rewards, but you earn points rather than cash back. Now let's move on to the reward system. You get 3X at restaurants, food delivery, groceries, gas, transit, and 1x back on everything else. So like the cash rewards for a limited time, you can get a $98 statement credit for an annual Walmart Plus membership. Some additional perks and benefits includes entertainment access, roadside assistance, the ability to redeem your points in cash, travel gift cards and merchandise, and you can also get up to 25% off of your car rentals, plus car rental loss and damage insurance. I think the 25% off car rentals is a pretty sweet touch since it is different from the other cards that Navy Federal offers. You can also hold on to this card forever since this one does not have an annual fee. So for me, I would place this card in the S tier. It's a pretty solid card where you can earn more points based on your spending habits. Like most of us, getting cash back on gas, restaurants, and supermarkets come in handy since this is something that we tend to spend a lot on. And because of the added current promotions, this is a solid choice. One thing to know is that since this card is an MX, you cannot liquidate cash from it and put it into your Go card. So this is just another play where you're gonna get cash advances without fees or interest for a statement cycle. Now let's keep it moving with our next card, which will be the Visa Signature Flagship Rewards card. This is Navy Federal's premium travel credit card. You could kind of place this in the same category as a Chase Sapphire Preferred or the Capital One Venture card. So currently with this credit card, you can earn 35,000 bonus points in a one year free Amazon Prime membership. Now, if you already have a Prime membership, when you renew your subscription with the flagship card, they will credit your account up to the value of the Prime membership, which is around $139. If you already paid for the Prime subscription, then you can just go ahead and purchase a gift membership to get the full value from that card. The great thing is that this is not limited to new members, but current members can also get this benefit as well. Now let's talk about the reward system. You get 3X the points on travel and 2X points on everything else. This is a pretty good reward system because the majority of credit cards out there will only offer you 1X back on the everything else category. You can also receive a statement credit up to $100 for global entry or $85 for TSA PreCheck. This is pretty good, especially if you don't have any other travel credit cards that offer this. Now to value the bonus, plus the Amazon Prime, plus the global entry, this will equal to about 
$489 in value. But on the downside, this card does have a $49 annual fee, but it is much lower compared to its competitors. So what you have to keep in mind is that once you have to start paying that annual fee of $49, you have to spend at least $1,633 in the 3X category or $2,450 in the 2X category just to break even on the annual fee. Additionally, your points do not expire as long as the account remains open. After reading the fine print, you can start redeeming rewards once your points reach 100 points for travel-related rewards. Now let's talk about some other benefits and perks that you can receive with this card. You also get collision damage waiver for car rentals, worldwide automatic travel accident insurance, and travel and emergency assistance. Out of all of the Navy Federal credit cards, this is the only one that can give you an $80,000 credit limit. This card, I would also place in the S tier. The reason being is that if you were to earn the sign-up bonus, Amazon Prime membership, plus the statement credit for global entry or TSA pre-check, will come out to be around $589 in value. I like the fact that this is a travel card that gives you 2X back. The only other card that I know that does this is the Capital One Venture X card, which has an annual fee of around $395. But it effectively can be free if you were to use all of the credits. So if you are looking for a travel card, this one is the one to get. So before moving on, I gotta do my shameless plug. I have a software that can help you with your credit repair for a fraction of the cost that you would pay an agency. It's called Credit Rehab Pro. This allows you to easily dispute as many accounts as you want across all three credit bureaus. In a matter of seconds, you can create dispute letters specific towards your situation and print them out at home. What's more is that if an account wasn't deleted, the software suggests a new strategy for additional disputes. You see, Credit Rehab Pro is not just another tool, it's like a personal credit coach that guides you through the entire step in the right order. And the best part is that you have full control. You can repair your credit at your own pace in your own time. I do have a link down in the description if you want to check it out. The next card on the list will be the Gold Rewards card. At the making of this video, there is a sign-up bonus that gives you 10,000 points when you spend $1,000 within 90 days of opening the account. So this is a value of around $100 and an ROI of 10%. You also get a low intro APR for 12 months on balance transfers within the first 60 days of the account opening. Then after that, it will just be variable. Now let's talk about the reward system since it's pretty decent. You get 3X at restaurants, 2X on gas, and 1X on everything else. Some other additional benefits is that there's no reward limit, multiple ways to redeem your points, and collision damage waiver. There's actually two variations with this credit card. There's a MasterCard version and a Visa version, and there's really no difference between the two. I would probably opt for the Visa version if it is an option since most merchants and retailers accept Visa rather than a MasterCard. So for this card, I would place this credit card in the B tier. So given its sign-up offer, reward system, and not have an annual fee, I would say this is a pretty average credit card. The thing is that the sign-up offer used to be much better on this card, but Aside from that, I think this is a pretty average card. Now let's keep it moving with our next credit card, which will be the Platinum card. The two things that this card has going for it is that you get 0.99% intro APR on balance transfers for the first 12 months and it has the lowest APR of the bunch. Unfortunately, this credit card does not have a reward system, but it does have some additional features and benefits. This includes collision damage waiver and travel and emergency assistance. To rank this card, this is a little bit more difficult since I'm typically biased towards travel, rewards, and bonuses, but I get that not everybody cares about this. So I have to keep that in mind. The people who would want to have this card are for those who want to have a balance on a credit card, but at a lower interest rate compared to other ones on the market. Currently, the interest rates are still pretty high. The low intro APR on balance transfers is a great touch, which makes it lower than other credit card offers that Navy Federal has, but I wish it was closer to 0%. The APR on this card is on the lower end, which is around 11% which is pretty comparable to a lot of personal loans rates right now. So this could be a great alternative if you are looking to lend without the hassle of applying for a personal loan. So since borrowing money right now is more expensive, I would place this card in the C tier. The reason being is that this card would be much better if it had a zero intro APR on balances and purchases, because there are a lot of cards out there that offer this, but this only offers it on balance transfers and is not even 0%. But if you are in need of a short-term loan, the Platinum card would be my go-to rather than getting out of payday loan or something like that that costs way more. Now let's move on to our next card, which will be the N Rewards Secured Credit Card. Since this is a secured credit card, this is mainly for those who are new to credit or looking to rebuild their credit. So how this card would work is that you need to deposit at least $200 into your membership savings account to back your spending. So once approved, they will hold on to your deposit in your account as a card's credit limit. Then you would just use your card like any other credit card. Navy Federal says that after three months, you could be eligible for a credit limit increase that goes beyond your deposit. 
And after six months, they can return your deposit back to you and upgrade you to the cash rewards card. So this definitely would not be your forever card because you truly want to upgrade to an unsecured credit card anyways. One thing that I do like about the secure card is that it provides rewards. You get 1x points on every dollar spent. But the only difference about the points on this card compared to the other ones is that the rewards expire after four years, while the other cards typically don't have an expiration date. So for the rank of this card, I would actually place it into the A tier. So the reason of why I'm placing this secure card so high on the list is that it is a very special card that can take you from zero to hero in a matter of a few months or a couple of years. I know that this is a beginner card or for those who are looking to rebuild a credit, but when you compare this card to other secure cards on the market, this is definitely one of the better ones because in three months, you can get a credit limit increase, which makes this card partially unsecured. Within six months, you can upgrade to the unsecured cash rewards card. Then from there, after six months, you can request for a credit limit increase. So all within a year, you can go from a secure card to an unsecured card with a credit limit in the thousands if you do everything right. Now, I wanna turn it over to you. If you agree with my list, let me know in the comments. Navy Federal has a lot of things to offer, so check out these videos over here to get the most out of your membership.